Okay, so the last bit of the video was just gonna be really fiddly with my hands in the way, just putting it all together. Uh, as you can see, I put some holes in the front to put some ports in, and here's a shot inside. I got the inverter in there with the cable coming out, bypass the 110 outlets and actually just use the outlet in the inverter to put right there. The batteries in there, charge port, just a little mountable XT60. And then the inside, the wiring kind of looks like a mess, but I just put a lot of, put an extra cable just to make sure that I could get everything fit and service it in the future if I needed to. So we've got these ports here and just gives you a quick indication of the voltage. Two of them, bam, 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 bam. 12 volt comes on with the switch and its corresponding bank. And there's the inverter. The switch is on the inverter. No remote switch, which kind of stinks, but switch it on and off and close the lid or probably leave it open if you've got the inverter going, just to make sure that you can exhaust out all of the hot air. But pretty simple. Gonna do a demonstration now, thanks. Okay, now that we have the battery done, I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration to show you how it can make a waffle on this cool little waffle maker that I got from Target for $12.99. It's 350 watts, uh, all kinds of recipes that you could do other than waffles, but waffle-ish sort of things. So here we go. Power on the inverter. Wait for the blue light to go off. Now just let it cook. And there you have it, a nice waffle cooked with batteries.